I'm Tanae Howard in for Fanchon Stinger tonight. Police investigated five shootings, including two homicides in just 12 hours. They're now looking into whether gang activity could be involved here. Fox 59's Liz Gillardi joins us now in the neighborhood where a teen was killed yesterday. Liz, I understand you talk to that family today. I did. The teen's body was found at this vacant home. Some of his relatives live right down the street. They heard the gunshots, and as of right now, police do not have any suspects. That was my nephew laying in the backyard dead. 16-year-old Jalen Johnson shot to death at this vacant house in the 300 block of West 31st Street. His aunt, Vanita Johnson, is making a plea. I need to know what was going on Why was he's in that vacant house. Why? Why was you back there? Just 40 minutes earlier on Thursday, 43-year-old Kelvin Marion was killed in the 5600 block of Maryland. Police do not have any suspects in either case and say the teen shooting was not random. The one allegedly last night appeared to be a hit that was put on someone. I, and I'm just saying allegedly that's what it appeared to be. The street outreach team 10 Point Coalition scrambled with back to back homicides, followed by more shootings. At this meeting, they discussed a strategy for the weekend and talked about the incidents last night. One concern, this possible gang sign found at the home where the teen was killed. We don't know if it's an uprise of gangs that are coming back up in the city or gangs that are yet existent. And they're just now, you know, beginning to come to the surface again. Police say they're still looking into it and cannot say if the killing is gang related. Down the street, neighbors are fed up. This man put up signs saying stop the violence. I think that um, people are afraid to, to stand up against the violence out here. There's too many guns on the street. Heading into the weekend, police and the 10 point coalition plan to have an increased presence in these neighborhoods where the shootings happened. Reporting live, Liz Gilardi, Fox 59 News. All right, thank you, Liz. Well, IMP 